Hey. How's it going? I'm Deja, and we need to talk. See, the last few weeks, I've had my eyes open on some recent stuff occurring in League of Legends and League of Legends Wild Rift. And well, you can call it copium, but I think I've just predicted one of the upcoming legendaries coming next year, and it's one you won't believe. So let's get into it. Back on December 14th, Wild Rift announced Jade Dragon Wukong would be getting upgraded and to grab him before December 29th. This was followed by Skin Spotlights confirming it would include a new 3D gallery intro, animations and background. On top of this, he would also see new in-game VFX, animations, recall, home guard and even a full screen VFX for W. Crazy right? I found it a little strange that a skin costing 725 wild cores would be getting such an upgrade, especially when the only other skin to get this kind of upgrade was the legendary skin. Corporate Mundo. On December 19th, Wild Rift released a teaser which included Jade Dragon Wukong. However, he was instead called Jade Wukong. Perhaps it's a spelling mistake, or perhaps it's something more. As you can see in the intro, he gives off a very Lunar Revel vibe, just like Radiant Wukong, which is another skin previously released for Lunar Revel. After this, it got me thinking. And then I remembered a previous Discord message by Harambe, mentioning discussions with Riot August. When discussing Wukong's current state and need for buffs, August said he will get a lot of love next season. If these are 100% his words, then they come off with a strange wording to me. If I were to say a champ would get buffs next season, I would just say that, that they're getting buffs, not that they're getting a lot of love. This makes me feel there is more to it than just buffs. Also on the 19th, the mood board for upcoming League of Legends skin lines got leaked. Notice anything in particular? That's right, not one, but two green themed skin lines, which could represent something like Jade, or Gems, or something else. Suspicious. Another thing to note is the original Jade Dragon Wukong came out in 2012 as part of the Lunar Revel event for the Year of the Dragon. Well, it just so happens that next year is also Year of the Dragon. Many Wukong players love the client version of Jade Dragon skin, but also wish we could get the Wild Rift version as a separate skin. Well, I think this is exactly what is happening. With all these bits of information, I think next year, during Lunar Revel, we will get a Jade, Gem, or Green skin line featuring Jade Wukong as the legendary. I could be wrong, but I feel all these snippets add up to that happening. If I'm right, then that's great news for our monkey. But if I'm wrong, we're no worse off than we currently are. Anyway, thanks for watching and take it easy.